Okay, we'll quick do some warm ups and focus on the middle back today because we don't usually do that. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down. Relax your arms and reach your head to the ceiling. Take a few moments to focus inward, breathing. And exhale, stress and tension. And then as you inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you, press them to the floor as you lift your heart. Get that back working. And then exhaling, pivot at your hips, come on over. Hands up, head down, move your chin around. Relax through your neck. Lift your sitting bones, move your hands toward your head. And then bend your knees slightly, work your way back up and lift your heart. Again, stretch that spine all the way out through the crown. And inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just feeling your body responding, noticing what's going on for you. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, so one position over with your fingers. Again, lift into the back bend, stretching that spine, and then pivot over. And again, deepen as much as you'd like, <clears throat> And relax. And once more, start the bottom of the spine. Just wind all the way back up and lift your heart. Take a moment to breathe and stretch. And then <clears throat> inhale upright into mountain pose. Side stretches. So let's bring one hand down and the other arm out. Palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the arms away and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and the hands out and make sure you're not leaning forward. Okay, at the moment, feeling those ribs stretch. And then come on up, release that arm and bring the other one out, palm to the ceiling, right over your shoulder. Stretch the arms, lean to the side, no twist. And again, just maximize for whatever your body is needing on this side. And inhale up and release. And again, just feeling the sides a little more activated and our twist time. So stretch the spine apart, arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes. Stretch up through the spine and turn for a twist. Take a breath and pivot over. Take a moment there, getting the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Arms next to your ears, just lift your sitting bones. Relax through your whole spine. And then stay in your twist on the way up. And again, upper body only back bend. Elbows back, chest high. Take a few breaths there, stretching into the back bend, lifting your chest. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, sitting bones down, stretch it out and turn to the other side. A breath in, pivot over. And just take a few breaths there in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet. Arms by your ears, and again, just work your way up into the upper body for your back bend. Lift your heart, lift your ribs, and pull your elbows back. Shoulders still down toward your waist. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, but your shoulders down. And then swan dive, arms at shoulder level, chest leading, and stretch out halfway down. And then drop into red dog. Take a breath. Slide your hands up under your knees and stretch your spine straight. And again, rounding, drop your arms, tuck in your chin, and start at the bottom of your spine, winding again into mountain pose. 
As you get back up, just take a moment there, feeling your spine. And we're gonna turn the toes out slightly. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes, hands above your knees. So stretch your spine long and straight. Again, getting all that spine area opening. And then exhaling, lift the hip. You're turning toward, bring the shoulder down toward your knee. So just maximize that twist, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything, turning to look toward the side. Stretch out through your neck, back through your sitting bones. Exhale, turn back to the center and straighten everything out, stretch it apart and twist to the other side, bringing that shoulder down and the hip up as you turn and look toward that opposite side. Remember, not a lot of pressure in those hands, just guiding with the shoulders. Then exhale, turn back to the center, round, and again, come all the way back up into mountain pose. Feel your spine, lengthen through your body. And then we're gonna clasp our fingers together and put them behind your head, elbows out to the side. We're gonna do a back bend, and we're gonna make the back bend in that middle back part. So we're gonna really focus on the ribs and the chest. So pushing your head slightly into your hands, look slightly up, and just keep allowing that chest area to lift. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let your head sink back a little bit more. So we're just coming into that upper body back bend. Feet are hip width apart in mountain pose. And your chest is lifting. As you exhale, just let the head hang heavier in your hands, deepening. Letting that chest lift and that middle back get a good back bend. Take a breath, spread your toes out, make sure you're well balanced. Lifting, exhaling, maybe deepening even further. And just as you get to your maximum point, just think about lifting the heart, feeling that upper body back area in the back bend, right through the shoulder blade area. Lift the heart a little bit more. Exhale that head down. Just deepen as much of a back bend as your body wants. Stretch it out. Lift your heart. And then tuck your chin slightly. Inhale and come back upright, releasing your arms back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that spine again a little bit more activated. And hands to your heart. Stretch the back of your neck, lift your hands, follow them up, and again, a nice upper body back bend, and then swan dive forward, pivoting on over into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. And then come into the floor, come into child pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down to the floor. Take a moment, feel that whole back of your body stretching in the forward bend as deeply as it wants to. Exhale and relax. And then chin in and sit up and come onto your hands and knees. We're going to do gate pose. And we're going to do two variations of this. So, Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Hips and knees lined up, feet straight behind you. And then we're gonna bring one foot out all the way to the side, straight out from your hip, and walk your hands back up so that you're on your knee. If you need to pad under that knee or fold your mat for a little extra cushioning, you can do that. And then bring one hand down along that leg and the other arm out to the side. Palm toward the ceiling, keep the shoulders down, arm over your shoulder. And we're going into the side stretch. So just slide your hand along the leg and bring that arm next to your ear in the air, reaching out to the side. So remember, don't lean forward, don't lean back, just slide to the side, getting those ribs opening. 
that lateral stretch on your spine. Take a breath. Just really relaxing into it, allowing those other ribs to open. Slide it maybe a little further as you relax, just as deeply as you want. Make sure both shoulders and both hips are facing the front. And then inhale back up, release that arm, and bring them to the floor, bringing your leg back in into table position. Nice support on that low back, remember ribs up. And then bring your other foot out to the side. Make sure it's lined up with your hip and come on up on that side. And again, we're bringing the hand along the leg and the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, slide to the side. As you get there, just breathe and relax. Check your hips and your shoulders, both facing the front. And again, just keep deepening as you relax. Letting that hand slide down. Feel the ribs opening. Feel that side stretch. Lateral motion to your spine. Just deepening as much as your body would like. Arm by your ear. And then again, inhaling, come up and release. Hands back to the mat or floor and knee back into table position. So we're going to do a second variation of that maybe emphasizing that middle area of your spine a little bit more. So once more, foot out to the side, walking back into our gate position. And we'll bring the hand first to the floor or to the leg and the other one out at shoulder level, palm up over your shoulder. And this time, instead of just sliding, bring your hand up onto your ribs, not your hip, further up on your ribs. And then push with your hand into the ribs. Keep both shoulders and hips facing the front and lean to the side. Arm is still by your ear. And again, just go as deeply into that side stretch, lateral spine motion as your body is wanting to do. Keep pushing with your hand into the ribs. And exhale, maybe a little further. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale up, release that arm. And again, back into table because yeah, we gotta do it on the other side. So once more, straighten your spine, stretch it out and bring your other foot over right next to your hip. Walk it up into gate position, hand along the leg, other arm out. Palm to the ceiling, over your shoulder. Bring the hand up onto your ribs, not your hip, further up. So stretch it out and lean to the side, no twist. So just make sure the hips and shoulders are still to the front. Reach it out, exhale. Deepen as much as your body wants on this version. Really feel that middle back, maybe moving a little bit more into that side stretch. Take a breath, just relaxing as you exhale, maybe deepening further. Yep, go only as far as your body wants, remember, and keep your arm by your ear. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, inhale up, release that arm, and come back down and sink back into a cross leg position or whatever's comfortable for you. If you prefer staff position with your legs out, that's fine. Sitting bones behind you, <clears throat> just relax. And if you're in your <clears throat> cross leg position, oh, now my throat. <clears throat> if you're in your cross leg position, go ahead and reverse those legs into your non-habitual position position. We're going to warm up the neck a little bit because we're going to do rabbit, but we're going to do a different emphasis on the rabbit today. Usually we're focusing on that upper neck area. This time we're going to again focus on that middle back area right over your ribs. So we're still going to warm up the neck though because it's always important when you go into rabbit to do that. So bring your chin into your throat center 
Let the back of your neck get a good start on its stretch. Exhale, relax. Shoulders are down right over your hips. Core is active, supporting your low back. And then bringing your hands to the back of your head. Remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight to give that stretch on the back of your neck a little more <clears throat> emphasis. Take a few breaths there, just letting that chin deepen into your throat. And then release your hands and tip your head up and lift your chin. Stretch the back of your neck out through the base of your skull, out through the crown, shoulders still above your hips, and just lengthening through that back of your neck while you're in the back bend. So move your jaw around a little, give your throat a stretch. And then come back upright. And we'll do our side stretch on the neck as well. So bring your ear over to one side, toward the shoulder. Both shoulders stay down. Don't punch either one up. And just let that ear come across. Make sure your face and shoulders still face forward. <clears throat> and then the side you're turning toward, that hand comes up to the outside of your head. Weight, not pressure, just adding a little bit. Feeling the stretch over on the other side. Hand to the floor if you'd like a little more stretch. Just keep relaxing into it. Pull the tension out. Exhale, just relax. And then releasing your hands, <clears throat> tip your head back upright. Feel the difference and balance your body. And before we do that, let's switch the legs if you're cross light, just to get a little balance there as well. So bring your ear over toward the other side. Just start relaxing through that side of your neck and shoulder. Bring the hand up for weight, not pressure. Just adding a little bit of weight with the hand on the side of your head. Just relax there, breathing, relaxing. Hand to the floor only if you want it. Breathe and relax. Make sure that the chin isn't lifting up, just straight ahead. And then again, releasing your hands, tip your head back upright, feel the sides a little more stretched. And then we're coming into child pose. So come on back, hips to your heels, hands, palms up, just give yourself a little relaxation there. Feel the stretch on the back of your body. And we're going to change that slightly as we go into rabbit. So we're going to come forward, tuck your toes under, and lift your heels. And bring your hands to your heels. Exhale, bring your forehead down toward the floor, and back into the child pose position. And then roll slightly onto the top of your head. Lift your hips way up and lift those ribs coming into your rabbit. So chin in toward your chest, just slightly. Stretch the back of your neck, lift the ribs. You want to feel the middle back more than the neck area as your focus this time. Exhale, tension. Just deepen into that arch as much as you'd like. Take a breath. And then flatten your feet and sink back. And again, just child pose. And inhale, sitting up. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Exhale and slowly roll down. Take a moment as you get onto your back, relaxing your shoulders down. We're just going to roll over onto our belly. So head to one side, bring your hands to T position, out from your body, and push your shoulders down toward the floor. So this one also is for that middle back area. 
And it can be intense. So remember, don't go too far for your body, only what's right for you. So you're looking toward the left with your head. And then you're going to roll onto your opposite hip. So onto your right hip if you're looking to the left. And then bring your leg up, bend it, and bring it over behind you. But keep your shoulder on the floor as much as you can. So your left arm stays all the way down toward the floor. Yes, if you have a big bust, it may be a little bit challenging. But the more you keep the shoulder down, the more that stretch and work will be in the middle of your back. And if you're really flexible, you can bring that foot all the way to the floor. But for me, with my shoulder down, that's not going to happen. So again, just as deeply as you like, breathing, relaxing, keeping that shoulder coming down, and just allowing that foot to go heavy behind you toward the floor. Exhale, just relax as you're there, letting it happen. And of course, you want to hold it longer on your own, but we've got to do the other side. So go ahead, straightening your leg out or rolling back onto your belly. As you get there, turn your head to the other side. I'm just going to turn around so that I can talk. So your arms are out, shoulders down, head turning this time to the right, and we're rolling onto the left hip. And again, just go as far as you want, bring your leg up, bend your knee, and bring it behind you. Keep that shoulder down that you're rolling away from as much as you can. Take a breath, just relax. With each breath, just let that leg grow heavy, foot going further toward the floor behind you. And just bring your awareness into the back, noticing where that maximum of your work in the spine is going on. Take a breath. Exhale. The more you emphasize those exhalations, remember, the more it works into that twist. And if your foot never gets to the floor, that's okay. If it does, that's okay too. But make sure the shoulder is staying down so you get that middle back working for you in the twist. Exhale and relax. When you're ready to release, again, just straighten the leg, roll back onto your belly. And you can stay there and rest in crocodile for our relaxation if you'd like. I can't talk there, so I'm going to turn up into corpse position. But it's always up to you whether you prefer one direction or the other for the relaxation. So go ahead, coming into your relaxation position wherever you'd like, shoulders going down toward the floor. Exhale, just relaxing. Letting your whole middle back especially, but the rest of your body as well. Just grow heavy and sink deep into that surface beneath you. Relaxing through the shoulders, through the back, through the hips, through the legs. Whole body growing heavier as you exhale each time. Move your head around, let your neck release any tension. Hands, palms up wherever you are. Letting your shoulders relax down into the earth's surface beneath you. Expand your ribs through the back of your body as well as the front. And then just completely relax your body and let it grow heavy. Deepen more with each exhalation into that earth embrace and let your body go. And as you relax completely, just allow your awareness to turn inward. Letting any thoughts coming to your mind just to drift away as easily as your breath. And allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Release the past. Forget the future. Just let those thoughts flow in and out. Drifting away like your breath. Relaxing your body. Releasing your mind. 
allowing your awareness just to turn inward to the peace within. Fill your body and your mind with the peace. And just take a few moments focusing inward, expanding the peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just let your whole body go, releasing into that earth support. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely as you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Feel that stretch in the middle of your back, especially today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work, the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.